guys, this is Bad Gamer Cat. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome if you're new. You're here once again in The Sims 4, and I have a brand new sim. This is Sapphire Cook, and she is a teen, and we are going to attempt to play a teen by herself. I don't know if it's possible. We're going to the new town of Evergreen Harbor, because I have Echo Lifestyle, or Eco Lifestyle, I should say. So let's just jump in. And here is the new world, and it's really cool. So, we have, um, this area is called Port Promise. What was once a bustling trade port now holds a number of homes and businesses that pay homage to their industrial roots. And aim to keep, as the local expression goes, oh, and, and, <laughs> and aim as the local expression goes, keep evergreen cookie. I don't know, how come I saw a keep on the wrong line there? While the actual port may no longer be running, the promise of something better remains. That's one neighborhood. And then we have this other neighborhood called Grimm's Quarry. When prospector Arnold Grimm founded his famous rock quarry in Evergreen Harbor, he could hardly have predicted this little suburb that would spring up around it decades later. Today, a cozy set of homes, apartments, and spaces for community use sit in the shadow of the walls of striking white stone. And the last area is Conifer Station. What happens when the trains stop running? Downtown Evergreen, affectionately known to locals as Conifer Station, may be a bit quieter nowadays, but residents will still tell you that the defunct, the defunct train station and unsightly storage tanks had a hard-working community eager to improve their little corner of the world. So, I think we're going to start here if we can. I don't know if we can. Um, yeah, okay, there's this lot right here. The shipping view. And it is reducing recycle and off the grid. So let's just jump in to this lot. And we're going to get it unfurnished. And actually, we're going to bulldoze the lot. Because this is going to be a sort of rags to riches challenge. Meaning I'm going to start with nothing. I think it's going to be hard because she's a teen. I've never done this before. I'm just doing it my own way. So, what we're going to do is... The testing cheats true... Money zero. All right. So she is tense and she's removing a wild plant. No, don't remove a wild plant. Where is she? Why is she removing a wild plant? Gross air. Unnatural environment. So she is a green fiend and she's unhappy very much so. That she's in this environment. And I don't blame her. I wouldn't like it either. So hang on. I don't want her to remove this. Why would she want to remove this? She's removing it. Okay, she's just viewing it now. Alright, I don't mind if she views it. I just don't want her removing it because we want to use that later. Alright, so let's take a look at our area. Our lot is completely bare. It's like totally desolate. We're on the waterfront. Let me see if the Sims 3 camera is better. I want to be able to see, like, that area. No, the Sims 3 camera is not any better. Okay, now we can see that area. All right. So let's take a look around. We've got all kinds of garbage and gross stuff everywhere. Wow. And... 
We've got our mailbox. Got some people over here on the street. Who's this? Jeffrey Landgrab. Let's do a friendly introduction. And look at it, there's just stuff blowing in the wind. It's pretty gross. And we have to, um, let's dive for meals and dive for deals. And maybe do it a few more times. All right, let's follow our sim. So look at this world, you guys. Hang on. She's just going for it. She's just jumping right in. Isn't she cute? I've never had a sim with blue hair before, I don't think. She found a bell pepper. That's good. Hey, neighbor, do you want to learn how you can make a difference? If you've got a minute, I'd love to chat with you about how your vote can help make this neighborhood more green. Yes, definitely. Where is he? He's over here, so when she's done that, let's talk to him. Don't say. What's wrong? Don't you hate it? I can't say that I blame you, kiddo. <gasps> There's a rat. Let's see if she got anything. She did. She got a common upgrade part. She got tof tofurkey dinner, quality poor, vegetarian safe, and homework, because she's a teenager. So value, yeah, so. Yibs. Ah, sure, so. So she Good is job. very tense. So we're going to talk about the Echo Lifestyle. We're going to do a funny introduction. Okay. Welcome to Evergreen Harbor. My name's Knox, and not to toot my own horn, but people regard me as a bit of an eco-master around these parts. And I utterly love talking about living the eco-lifestyle. Did you know that you can vote on the neighborhood action plans? They're called NAPs for short. If you want to help get our neighborhood to a better eco-footprint, there are a lot of great opportunities you can help me in supporting. Do it for the trees. Green initiatives, eco-friendly appliances, and clean energy production. Voting is easy. You can vote at either a public voting board or even at your own mailbox. No excuses to dodge voting. Just make sure you have enough influence points. I've given you a few to get started. Voting ends on Monday at 6 p.m. Thanks for the info. Okay, show me our neighborhood voting board. Okay, it's right here. Now, let me pause the game. Where is she? Hey, oh no, no, what did I do? Did I accidentally click the gallery? No, I don't. I guess we're traveling there, you guys. I didn't mean to. I was just trying to see where we were. Let's just cancel that. Okay, this is our property right here. 
this big bare empty space So it looks like we have to go, we've got a board right here. Okay, so let's vote on neighborhood action plans then. Aww. And let's see how she's doing. She's doing all right. We have almost nine hours before this food will spoil. La show and fez should be, you know, Fuente, Lamina Gabar, Snurbiafa Pelzo, Crimbo a Creech, the hair rush away, Jelja, Zaffel, Lubray, Pumpler Steep, Pumpleve. Okay, let's go with her. Ooh, look at that bike. <laughs> okay, no neighborhood action plans have been put in action. Now let's go vote. Let's get voting. So we can vote for free love. No, I don't think so. Modern development import promise. Um... So you can read that if you want. This will, ooh, an increase in our weekly bills. God, no, we can't afford that. Support the performing arts. Tech support. Have you grown too comfortable with things just the way they are? Um, upcycling initiative. We are giving influence to everyone using recyclers to get materials and fabricators. Oh, that might be good. Water. We no, we don't really need that yet. I think we're gonna. What's we wear bags? No, I don't think we want to wear bags. Okay, let's do the upcycling initiative. Um, what is the tech support again? Okay, that helps people who are in the tech. No, you know what. I think we're going to go with the upcycling initiative. What's this, though? Oh! Well, we can add more stuff. Green initiatives. Oh! Blanket port promise with luscious plant life. Well, that would be nice. Oh, small weekly donation. No. Eco-friendly appliances. That would be nice. Juiced up community... Power conservation, rock your body. Sharing is caring. Some Sims own a lot of things. Some Sims own just a little bit of things. But what if everyone could just own everything? See that bike sitting there? That could be your bike. Or anyone's bike. <laughs> With this initiative, everything you see can be yours. Oh. Just don't get attached to anything you already own. Okay, you know what? That would be good because we could steal stuff, I guess, but... Kind of seems like cheating, right? Self-sufficiency. We can live in a community where things like fishing, gardening, and handiness are rewarded. That would be nice. Clean energy production. You know what? I think she would either go for self-sufficiency or upcycling. Which would be better? Maybe this would be better because we need to get stuff and we don't have stuff yet. I don't know. Well, fishing and gardening. No, let's go for that. We'll vote for that. Hey, Frost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Loonies. And who's this? Napa. Is that Nancy Ladengrab? What is she doing here? Yeah, that is Nancy Landgrab. Okay, let's do a friendly introduction. And who's this? Um, we can ask for an autograph. Let's just do some friendly introductions. 
Katrina Caliente. Lily Fang. Oh, here's another uh, guy. Tomax. She's feeling inspired. Why? From doing green activities. Awesome. And she's happy because she got a celebrity autograph. And she's happy that she saw a celebrity. But she's very unhappy about the unnatural environment. And she seems very angry right now. So I don't think we can pick up any of this stuff. Let's check the latest nap gossip. So, hang on. We need to go dumpster diving again. I've learned the secret to getting influence. After I got a job as a civil designer, the influence just started rolling in. The promotion I got last week didn't hurt either. I heard that promotions in any job can give you a boost. So we might have been wrong to start with a teenager. Um, let's go visit here. And we'll just travel on our own. And let's just see how she's doing. Okay, so Aww. let's, I guess, we have to, there's nothing in here. This building is empty. Here's another board. So let's dive for deals. Oh, I think I just see Santa Claus going by. Hey, a champ. I'm your new neighbor, Bess. So, you like money, right? Let's talk. I'm going to let you in on a little secret about how things work here. Uh, I, we're not at the house, so we can't talk to her right now. Can we pick anything up here? Here's Jeffrey Landgrab coming to talk to us. Oh, she found a... a something. Seema Diming in the dumpster. Check your household inventory. She found Appaloosa Plains postcard. He is getting very, very stinky. Saffir found hounds to the die. Huh. I didn't know you could find you die. <laughs> so, so. She is super, super stinky. We can't do anything more here. I don't see anything that we could do here. Vote on Community Space Project. Wow. 
What does Sapphire want to vote for? Oh, we can make this something else. This is a community space. We can make it a garden. Oh, that would be really nice to get some plants. A maker space. That would be nice. Or a marketplace. Let's try a community garden. And is there a bathroom in here? No, there's not. Why isn't there a bathroom in here? Well, that sucks. What is she doing now? Oh, she's just playing on her phone. Okay, that's fine. Can we do anything here yet? Oh, we can. Let's dive for deals again. I think we have to wait till we go home to see what's in our inventory, our uh, household inventory. Oh my god, Jeffrey Landgrab just found food in the dumpster too. And isn't he like filthy rich? Landgrab. Maybe he has a landfill. Sapphire sound, found some recycled materials she could put to good use. Okay. Where else can we go? Um, let's travel. There's got to be somewhere we can go. We'll just travel alone. So, this lot is not available. I think maybe that's where we are right now. That's somebody's house. We've got a bar we could go to. We've got the quarry we could go to. Let's go check out the quarry, I guess. I don't know. Maybe we can't. Yeah, okay, we can. Let's go check out the quarry building. Okay, you guys, here's the quarry building, but I just noticed the time. It's I've already been playing for over 20 minutes, and I don't want these to go too long. So I think we're going to stop here. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please hit that like button. Leave your comments. Um, let me know if you think we can make it having a teenager, or should we age her up and turn her into a young adult? I think we'll play her as a teenager for now, but if it gets too hard, let me know if you think it would be cheating to age her up or not. All right, let me know what you think, and most importantly of all, stay safe. Bye for now, you guys.